Welcome to a video by Dodge Neon Racing. Today we're going to be turning this Duracell 2GB SD card into a ready boost for my Toshiba satellite um, to kind of help speed up the system and give it a little bit more freedom from using its own internal stuff. Now in order to do this you'll definitely need a SD card or as I have here a SanDisk thumb drive you can use that also um, the bigger the better and but it won't use up the whole thing so the bigger the better is for the simple fact is, is that you can put a ready boost file on this so to boot up your computer faster but you'll also be able to still store stuff on it so if your laptop notebook or PC has an SD slot that's where you will put this if not you'll need to buy a USB uh, add-on which is this which comes with many different places to add more USBs SD cards and other things mine is located on the front so you install it just push it in and it should load it and uh, your autoplay should come up if not the other direction would be go to your file folder which is your computer files so I'll click open to view files as you can see there's nothing on here now in order to do this I'll make it larger screen so you can see you're gonna go to it which it's located under removable disk left click properties and then as you can see I have free space alright there is 96.0 kilobytes used but that is the SD card itself uh, using so it will operate if you've ever wondered what that use space is um, if you lost that the SD card would not even work so basically I have 1.87 gigabytes to use on this SD card so what we'll do is you click on ready boost and it says do not use this device dedicate this device to ready boost use this device so we're going to dedicate this device to ready boost and I have it maxed out for the max megabytes at uh, 1914 megabytes now this what ready boost does is it speeds up your system by utilizing the available space on the device you're using while the device is being used for the system speed the reverse reserve space will not be available for file storage Windows recommends using 1819 megabytes for optimal performance but it also gives me the chance to uh, increase so I'm going to increase and what you'll do is you're going to click apply and then this will pop up as it's making it ready then you will click OK and as you can see it is applied ready boost now the next thing you'll want to do um, you you can close out of this oh I've got Apple here and it will tell you oh that's for Apple also all right, so what you're going to want to do, uh, I was doing an Apple up, iTunes update, is you're going to want to go to startup and then restart your computer, laptop or notebook. And by the way, this is a SRT4 uh, in the background there. And that's how you do a, a ready boost using an SD card. Thanks for watching, and remember, uh, like, subscribe, and always, any questions, comment below, and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. www.neonsracing.webs.com